This is a big change for me, and this is really, this is really hard. It really hurt. So you gotta get them without tearing your skin up. Oh, I'm pro. Okay, happy 4th of July, even though we're in Canada. Yeah. And I'm Canadian, but you're American, I yeah. know. And, uh, so this could be Happy Canada Day and Happy Fourth, because Canada yeah. Day was like two, three days ago. Yeah. So Happy Canada Day. Yep. And you say? Happy Independence Day for America. Thank you. <laughs> and we're roasting some uh, vegan dogs in the wood stove. Yes. Okay, just wanted to show you guys our dogs. Got this awesome pity pity spicy sauce with tomato sauerkraut, full grain mustard and sauteed mushrooms and onions. Mm. This is fantastic, oh man. Food porn shot. So I just wanted to jump on here real quick and I guess to another confession, just being real with you guys. And today was kind of um, a little bit harder than others, I guess you'd say. Some days get lonely. I love being out here, I really do. But I think the hardest thing for me, it's not that I don't have a bathroom or a shower or running water or electricity. It's that I'm not close to my family or my friends. And that it's hard. Like, I love Jake so much, but, you know, we're together 24-7 every day, all day. And this weekend's 4th of July, you know, today's 4th of July over in America and um, you know everyone's having barbecues and get-togethers and pool parties and you know so that makes it hard but it's good to talk about it and cry and breathe <laughs> we're just in the process of building and I know it's you know I'm visiting my family actually at the end of this month and I'm really excited I'm just feeling a little emotional today and I wanted to share it with you guys because I want you guys to know that it's not you know always perfect and our life isn't you know rainbows and butterflies like I always say there are some moments where it's really tough and really hard and you guys are like my therapist <laughs> Because when I say it to you guys and um, say it out loud, it makes me feel better. And I know that my family's watching this and I love you guys so much. This is a big change for me and this is really, this is really hard. It's really hard being out here. But it's also really fun and motivating and I've done things that I've never thought that I would ever be able to do. It's pushed me so hard, you know become a better person and to do what's right, I guess, for the environment and for myself and to try to inspire and motivate other people. And thank you for listening to me and I hope you guys are having a really awesome day. It is the next day. I'm here in the garden and I just took my shoes off and I walked just a couple of steps and I think I stepped on a beat and my foot is like throbbing right now. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I got stung by a bee. Honestly, I really have no idea. I think I was a little kid and I think it was on the foot. I never wear shoes and so I had to put them on and I'm noticing that there are so many bees in the grass today because there's little flowers all over in the grass like this big and I think it'd be best if I just keep my shoes on. But oh my goodness, that really hurt. <laughs> oh, I'm not allergic to bees or anything, but oh my gosh, that really hurt. Anyway. So here in the garden, I am doing a couple things actually, watering and gonna pull some weeds and stuff, but I'm making a herb, 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 um, drying rack. I wanna actually make a legit professional one later, but right now I'm just taking um, a piece of wood and then I'm gonna hang some herbs and dry them and I'm gonna make some tea blends in the next couple weeks once those are ready. So I'm just collecting the mint, lavender, sage and all that that I need for the tea. And I'm also making a couple of um, aromatherapy massage oils. I'm gonna make three different kinds and I'm just gonna make that really quick here on the vlog, but I'm going into more detail on my Nicolistic channel. So um, make sure to check that out when that video is live on that channel. I was
was a toddler on a horse outside a small town grocery store, begging for another quarter from my mother. She picked me up and said, Now, now, today we get one time around. And that's how disappointment was discovered. Come seventeen, I was as green as that girl's copper mezzanine. Well, I used to hide away from her father. And we'd ply those precious oars, listening for footsteps near the door to glowing embers, trying not to catch fire. Success at the garden, always a success always a success. I picked so many herbs and you can't even tell because they are just buried by the piles of raspberries that I got. I got so many raspberries. What's really cool about the garden that I love, so they have apple trees, they have raspberry bushes, black currants, red currants, and it's a you pick by donation. So you pick and then you just do a little donation. And I just I love that. I think that's so great. So I just picked a bunch of raspberries. A ton, a ton of raspberries. I mean, I can't wait to have our own raspberry bushes, but it's really nice that the community garden is here and that we're able to get some this year while we prepare our garden for next year. Um, but I got oh, so many raspberries and it's just donation based. So I love that. It's great. So now back up to Blackfish Hollow to dry out these herbs, finish making my herb rack and make some massage oil and some tea blends. Just a lot, but let's go. What you doing, babe? Um, compost toilet 2.0. Hmm. The, the first thing we videoed when we got here, we built was a uh, compost toilet. You guys go back and watch the first video of the journey. And uh, it was just out of like scrap wood that we just got for free real quick before we came over and it was just temporary. So it was like all plywood and broken down like pallets. And, it kind of got destroyed in the rain. The design is good, the wood was temporary, and then a bear came over and flipped it over because Nicole and I left for three days at one point, like a few months ago, and we uh, put a bunch of watermelon in the compost toilet, which we shouldn't have done, and bears tore it apart. And so now I'm building a compost toilet 2.0, which is better, made of pressure treated wood. And I'm gonna build a staircase right here that goes into the forest so that we have privacy from each other. And then I'm gonna attach a bug net on top and drape it over like a bell so that the whole compost toilet's in 
a net, but um, this is only 2.0. The compost toilet 3.0 will be in the actual washroom that'll be on the deck that'll come by the end of the month. But this is just another temporary one and we'll probably use this one for, if we ever have like workers that come, we'll recycle this one for guests and workers and stuff. But I don't want to hurt any of these salmonberry bushes because I've been snacking today on the most delicious red and orange salmon berries I've ever tasted so far. Super ripe and they were the best tasting ones I've had. So I don't want to hurt these bushes. I want them to keep producing salmon berries, but. Um, Chinese food for dinner. Oh my god, yeah. What did we find? Okay, Nicole found this. She was digging through the shavings of the wood that I milled and she just gathered up a handful and I guess there was a mouse inside here and she put it in the bucket and it... Yeah, I didn't know if it was in the bucket already, but I, I don't think it was. So it's weird. So this is him right here. He's covered in sawdust. And I'm going to let him go in this uh, mulch over here. So check it out. I got to take you guys out front and show you the little mouse civilization that's made its way into the van, into the spirit bear. I don't want these guys in the car. So here you go, bud. Going up my arm. Okay, jump out. Back to the wilderness for you. <laughs> Night, <Doug. laughs>
Okay, I'm ready for our nature walk. What are we looking for? First of all, this is winter firewood that I'm doing all by hand. Yeah. It's like I have no gym anymore, so this is my gym. Um, we're just gonna walk around and find all the different assortments of berries that are in season right now. But So for instance, this is just on our front driveway here. Uh, salmon berry. What I've noticed is that there's kind of three different kinds of salmon berries. There's the red ones, there's the orange ones, and then there's the orangish, orangish yellow red ones. <laughs> so there's like a blend, and there's also orange and then red. Actually, there's actually more. There's actually yellow ones. I've seen some yellow ones too, and you would think that the yellow ones just aren't ripe yet. That's not true. They are ripe, and I've been eating them, and they're fantastic. So first of all, Nicole, come hither. Yes. You look really cute. Thank you. Uh, see the flowers there? Those are like... These ones right here? A lot of other berries are coming for the next wave of the summer, but if you um, keep going deeper into the bush there, look underneath, like crouch down and look under. There's two ripe ones in there. Yeah. Um, I don't see them. I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So you got to get them without tearing your skin up. Oh, I'm pro. These are itty bitty ones. They're very small. Are they red and ripe? Yes. I'm actually not a huge fan of the salmon berry. But we're going to go find thimble berries and uh, Logan berries and raspberries. So. Okay. So the other day, Jake and I got some devastating news. So the power company ran over our sun chokes and I was pretty upset. They actually ran over all four buckets and Jake did a really good job of replanting them, but we did lose a good amount of them. Yeah, they were doing so good. And I remember that morning coming over to them and touching them and being like, oh my God, they're doing so great. And then when we got home from going into town, they were just gone, destroyed. But you did a really good job of trying to repot them. Thanks, it's tough because we're friends with the power company guys and so like, it's not their fault, they didn't do it maliciously, but it still happened and when we got back, it was it was like as crushed as possible. Like every one of the pots that they were in yeah. were just completely smashed to the ground like perfectly. Yeah. As if somebody like hated sun chokes. They were like, I must destroy them all. But um, yeah, so now we don't know what the varieties are. They're kind of mixed together and some of them, I just don't know, like hopefully this makes it, and these are doing really good, but like this, like one, this has... one is not making it at all. Well, they were doing fantastic. Our friend apologized, so I really appreciate that, and we um, have some of the root that survived in this one, and I was able to save these guys, but these guys will grow again, and they'll still grow all summer. Um, yeah. Okay, but let's keep on with our nature walk. Make sure to watch the next episode on Jake and Nicole living off grid as we continue our nature Looks walk like through sunset. the forest, gathering some wild berries and so much more. See you guys next time.